101.5 FM, that's Stephanie Jensen in shoes. Well, am I excited. Are you, Dalf? I'm excited, yes. A young lady who is doing some great things, her second album's out there now, doing um, terrific things. Star Maker finalist this year is the beautiful Victoria Edwards out of Toowoomba, and guess what? I've got her on the phone. There you go. How, How are you going? going? I'm great, thank you. Keep going, keep going. Oh. Young, beautiful, hey, I can roll with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you know what? I think if Brooke Chevelle is still listening, we were having a chat to Brooke just before. Did you hear that intro, Brooke? I mean, he, he didn't do that for you. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mind you, I don't think Brooke would like that, actually. Anyway, he wasn't a Star Maker finalist, so that's why I only do it yeah, for Star yeah. Maker finalists. <laughs> um, how was the experience this year? Oh, it was fantastic. It was great. I mean, I know I caught up with you... Um, Oh, when I was at the Long Yard one night, mm. we had a quick little chat. But uh, look, it, the festival in Tamworth was just brilliant this year, and it's just been busy ever since. <laughs> that's that's terrific, and uh, and um, the um, it's been a, it's been a long way. We spoke last time about the gap between albums and so forth, but uh, this is really really getting um, some legs, isn't it? Yeah, it's really wonderful actually. Since I released Authentic. Um, you know, people have been really coming on board and the first song that a release that I had from it, Open Doors, um, thanks you guys as well. Thank you for putting this song out there and lots of people have got on board with that and this next single um is a lot of fun, very tongue in cheek. Um yeah, it's it's just a lot of fun. So it's great to have something a little bit different out there as well. Um to you know, to give people a taste of what the album's about because there's so many different types of songs on it. I mean, it's all country, but, um, you know, there's some real heartfelt, sad songs and there's some funny songs that you just can't, you know, take too much notice of. Bubblegum plus country, I like to call it. <laughs> was was the intention always to have Pe- Paul Cowderoy there on the uh, on the sing on this single, or was it uh, just intended as a duo? Or how did that come uh, about? Well, it was it was definitely intended as a duo. And when I wrote the song, I knew it had to be a duet, but I didn't know who I could get to to sing it with me. And I was having a chat with um, David and Marilyn Carter from Carter and Carter. And I said, look, you know, I I really need to get a, a you know a great voice on on this song. Who do you think could do it? And David goes, well, what's it about? I send it to me. I'll have a listen to it. And I was like, well, okay, I don't, I don't think it'll suit you, David. And and he was like, well, send it to me and I'll have a listen and we'll see who we can think of. And um, he sent, I sent it to him and he said, oh, I love it, it's really great, but I don't think it would suit the Carter and Carter, um, no. you know, scene. <laughs> you know, a married couple and, and, my, <laughs> and this song's all about a married couple, you know, going through the, uh, the motions of life, I guess, and, you know, all that rubbish that goes on sometimes um so and i knew it wasn't for him but um it was really nice of him that he said look send it through and we'll have a listen and it was actually david that said look there's this guy paul cowderoy i think you should give him a call i think he would really suit this song so i did that i gave him a call and had a chat to him and he was great and he came on board and and um and sang the song for me but um, we've we've started filming the video clip for it, and Paul was not available. He's so busy doing so much stuff at the moment, so he's not in the video clip. But it is his voice on the on the song. So you guys are gonna, you know, everybody will have a bit of fun, sort of listening and then watching the video clip when it comes out in a few weeks. Now we were talking with um, Graham Roger not long ago. He brought out um, with Chrissy Thomas, and we said to him because he does not n- traditionally do uh, duets at all. He's always been a soloist all through. His, I mean, he's had quite a long career. And when we sort of said, well, why? Why did you do that? And why would you pick Chris? And he said, I needed to find the, ex- the exact right voice. And I think that's what... Um, they were saying there with Carter and Carter, just saying, you know, I love the song, but it's, I'm not the right voice. And I think we've had well, a listen to this song. It wasn't so much the voice, Tracy. It was more, you know... The image. I mean, well, yeah. Every, yeah, the image. Yeah. Every artist has their image. And, you know, we create a story um, with, our, with our performances, with the True. songs that we write, you know, and, and all of that. Um, and look, I love David and Marilyn. They're so fantastic. I've spent a bit of time with them down in... Um, down south in Victoria and, and of course Marilyn was one of the mentors when I went to the College of Country Music mm-hmm. so I've spent a bit of time with both of them and, and it was just great that they were like yeah let's let's help you find somebody so when they suggested Paul that was just wonderful that Paul was available to come on board and to sing the song. 
Well, we've had Paul in the studio in the past, and uh, let me tell you, the the girls they they reckon he's a bit easy on the eye too, because he's so tall, and he's for a little shorty like me, yeah, tall, I know. I know, but you all carry on. The girls, they all carry on going, oh, look how beautifully tall and handsome he is. Well, you wait until you see the guy that I've got um, doing the actual video clip with me. His name's Dane Anderson. And um, if you reckon Paul's easy on the eye, wait till you see Dan. Dane, oh. he's, um, he's pretty cool. So I think, I think the girls will videos. like him as well. He's, and he's a great guitarist. He actually comes and plays guitar um, when I've got some band gigs and things like that. So he's... Yeah, he's pretty good. Now, i tell you what I'm dirty on. We've been talking to you for a couple of years now, <laughs> yeah. and you're just up the road. I mean, I know Toowoomba's just up the road, but surely some stage you've got to be nearby that you can you can turn up and come and see us, you know? You never come well, and visit us. I'm feeling very lonely. <laughs> Fancy you should mention that. <laughs> I'm actually going to be down in Brisbane on the week of my birthday. So my birthday's on the 9th of June, right. and... The 6th of June, I am coming down. I've got a gig down in Brisbane, and I'm going to come and see you guys straight after and actually um, come and celebrate my birthday with you guys. I'm going to bring some CDs down as giveaways because I like to give presents on my birthday. Wow. And uh, But don't forget, I, I like receiving them as well. Okay. <laughs> so so that we can lock that in, the 6th. Yeah. So Thursday, that, that's great. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to come down and visit you guys because we always talk, and I, I just can't wait to catch up with you in person. Are you going to bring a guitar and sing? Oh, maybe. Ooh. Could be a rain. What could be a maybe. surprise? I reckon that'd be cool. I know our <laughs> listener. I know our listener loves hearing. Um, our listener. Our, our, our listener. listener you only yep. got one. Our listener loves hearing. Hi, listener. Um, <laughs> Loves hearing, uh, we don't call him or her by their name either. It's just, just in case it could be a different one this week. Um, they love hearing the, the people, uh, the, the vocalists live because you really get the, ho- they do, the yeah. emotion and, uh, and, and prove that these people really can't sing. Well, it's going to be difficult for me to sing the duet live. Unless we can get hold of Paul. <laughs> oh, oh, there's the Paul challenge. What about we do that? Down the road, <laughs> we do that. We might say, Paul, you've got to get in here because Victoria's going to be here. There's your challenge, Trace. Then we'll put it out. <laughs> well, all right. And you know what else we're doing at the moment, Victoria? Oh, yes. oh tell me. We are. We are we going to do this tonight or are we going to leave? No, no, we'll, do tonight. we'll okay. do it tonight. We'll do it tonight because we're going we're gonna to make a sing for a supper next time oh, in here so she can give away sing CDs. For a birthday cake. Yeah, yeah, sing for a birthday cake. Um, we. Uh, finding out a little bit more about the people that we speak to on a on a bit of a regular basis and find out a little bit more about them. So we've got four questions for you. They're the same standard four questions. So are you ready? Okay. Favourite food? Sushi. Oh, sushi. There you yeah. go. You like that too, Trace. Mind you, like, you like a lot of those foods. Footy Ooh, team? I'm sort of macarons at the oh. oh, God, I don't like macarons. No, I might eat like coconut. You and bring them down to you. Sounds oh. good. We might have to do that for your birthday cake. Have a couple of macaroons in here. <laughs> well, I can, I can live with that. Okay. <laughs> okay, second question. Footy team. Favourite footy team? Uh, Any Broncos. Code? Broncos, okay. Yeah. Uh, a song you wish you had have written? Mm, oh, that's tricky. That's, oh, a song I... Hmm, I don't know. Can I think... Can I pass? I'll yeah. think about that. Okay. Ask me the next one and then I'll come back to that. All song right. That... Something... Oh, no, she's gone. Well, there you uh, go. Look, I'll tell you what, we'll finish, we'll finish off those questions with Victoria Edwards next time, hey? Oh, that's giving her a long time. Yeah, to we it. will. Okay. No worries. Well, you know what, let's play the song. Here she is right now, teaming up with... Oh, she's ringing straight back. Different line. Oh, it's a different line. Okay, uh, she's teaming up with Paul Cattleway right now, and you ain't never.